Hi, I'm Mami from Wasabit. We'll be interviewing Yan, co-founder and CTO of Code Chrysalis. We'll be learning more about her business, types of candidates that attracts Code Chrysalis, her experience starting a business and recruiting in Japan. Code Chrysalis is a Silicon Valley style coding school in Japan. Their mission is to change the way software engineers are trained in Asia. Since starting in 2017, they have helped hundreds of people transition to careers in software engineering and the tech industry at large. Their graduates work as software engineers in Japan and abroad at companies such as Google, Sony, and IBM. Code Chrysalis also works with large companies to reskill and upskill engineering teams. They're proud to have worked with great companies like NRI, Mercari, and NTT Data, helping them transform their teams and people. Born in China and raised in Seattle, Yan's path to tech was non-traditional. After a short career in trading, Yan learned how to code, moved to San Francisco, joined a coding boot camp, and found a job as a software engineer in Silicon Valley. Her career transition motivated her to create similar opportunities for others. In 2016, she started a coding school in the Middle East, helping refugees gain coding skills. A year later, she moved to Japan to co-found a second coding bootcamp, Code Chrysalis, as the CTO. Could you tell us about your business and how you co-founded Code Chrysalis? Yeah, um, so uh, Code Chrysalis is a coding boot camp. We are based out of Tokyo. Um, we started first with just helping um, individuals make their transformations. So um, people are, you know, I think when we start our careers, it's often a decision that we make when we're really young, right? So like when I was 18, I decided that I would go into finance. Um, and then you end up in this career that you chose when you were a child, only to realize that you didn't know anything. <laughs> and, and like the thing that you chose is not for you, right? Like this job that you've been prepping for, training for, studying for. And that was the situation that I found myself in, as well as a lot of my cohort members, like a lot of my friends, a lot of the people that I knew, you know, we were just, we found ourselves not exactly like, you know, happy with what we were doing. Something was off. Like we were not terribly excited about things or just feeling really tired all the time. Um, and so uh, when I made a career change into tech and I realized like, oh, okay, this is where I belong. This is what I like to do. Um, I really wanted to provide that opportunity to other people, right? Like there must be other people in my shoes. And so when I was thinking of making a career change and I couldn't exactly decide on a particular industry, Code Chrysalis really came about from that, which is like, how can we help people, you know, find another path that they can take their career into so that they don't need to just feel stuck? These are just uh, some of the reasons as to why we started or why I wanted to start Code Chrysalis. What is unique about Code Chrysalis? Yeah, so for our programs, for people who are interested in taking them, um, I want to specifically point out our flagship program, which is called the Immersive Bootcamp. Um, it's three months full time or six months part time. Um, the strong points of that is that we have lifetime career support. So we help students even after they graduate. Um, and even if they're looking for their second or third or fourth job after after Code Chrysalis, they can anytime come back to us for a third party, like, you know, third party consultation, whether it's, hey, can you take a look at my offer letter to, um, can you help me um, do a mock interview? Can you do a mock interview with me? I'm feeling a little rusty. So all of that we help with uh, resumes, cover letter writing, um, job hunting strategy, like that's all covered. That's like our first really big strong point. Our second one is our focus on longevity. Um, so career longevity is really important to us. So not just getting that first job, but how can you be successful throughout you know, your career within the tech industry? 